because on force. Okay. So what is mean by force? Force is really rate of change of momentum. Okay. You must know that what is mean by change of momentum. Change of momentum is mean mv minus mu. So this is change of momentum. And rate in formula is divided by time. So this is formula for force mv minus mu. So uh, over t. So Force can change the shape and movement. So movement is either direction or speed of an object. So Newton's second law of motion is that the rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the force and acts in direction of apply force this mean when mv minus mu mv minus mu is mean by change of momentum is higher automatically force is higher because it's directly proportional so this is mean state that by Newton second law of motion okay so F equal to MA this is formula for the Newton second law of motion F equal to MA F is force and the unit is So, how the unit for force is kilogram meter per second per second or meter. Okay, when you look at here, okay, mass, the unit is kg. And for A is acceleration. So, when you look at here, okay, mass is kg and A is meter per second per second so when you multiply so force equal to ma so how this is how you get the unit is for force kg meter per second per second and normally the unit for force we are using newton uh, normally very simple so normally we are using newton for unit for force so Okay, jelas ya. Eh? Cuba cuci sikit kepada ruang chat tu jelas ke tak how you get the unit for force m equal to f equal to kg meter per second per second. Okay, normally we are we are using newton for unit for force. Okay. So when you look at here how you get one newton force will move the object of one kg for with acceleration one meter per second per second so when you look at here so when one newton when mass is one kg uh, so the mass so acceleration you see time dengan one meter per second per second so one meter force will move the object of one kilogram with an acceleration of one meter per second per second so this is how you get the force okay okay exercise number one okay if there are a bicycle and lorry that is moving the same acceleration which of one of them has larger force explain your answer okay according from the f 
equal to m a so a same right uh, same acceleration so what i want to look at here mass lorry allen lorry yeah, is higher mass of bicycle uh, so that's me untuk force lorry should be uh, larger than force of bicycle because mass of lorry is greater than mass of bicycle ok jelas uh, so check sikit pada ruang uh, tu tulis sikit komen pada ruang check ok good others ok ok look at question number 2 ok question number 2 is One hundred newton force was ejected on the ball below, so they would move to the right. Which one will move a greater acceleration? So explain your answer. So what is formula for force? Force equal to m a. Okay. Now how? A, we want to find the value of A. So, A equal to F over M. So, okay, when you cut here, so kita ambil uh, A for green ball. So, force there. So, 100. Okay. So kita ambil 100 lah sebab kat sini semua dia bagi 100 newton. Okey kat sini. M. Okey so sini 100 mass mass 100. So green ball 100 over 100. So you get the form for the acceleration is 1 meter per second per second ok ni 1 meter per second per second ok the same force ok when you look at rate ok rate pula ok tengok yang rate ok rate ni sama juga so the formula A so R R ni for rate force force same 100 And mass 5 kg So dekat sini 100 Over 5 So akan dapat kat sini Eh sorry sorry Tadi bukan 100 Per 100 sorry For rate Okay we repeat again We repeat rate Sorry Okay Okay when you look at here Okay So force kita ambil yang A dulu So F A A ni yang Ok atau apa awak ambil green lah Green Equal to M Green A Green So 100 meter same force M green is 1 kg So A Green So awak nampak kat sini A green kat sini So, akan dapat 100 meter per second per second. So, kat sini dia punya A green dia. Green tu pola ya. Warna green. So, 100 meter per second per second. Okay. This is for number A. Okay. For number B. Okay. Number B. Same. Okay. Kita akan buat eh, uh, red lah. R. So M red A red ha, Kita buat red Sebab kita buat ball ni warna red color So force is same 100 Mass 5 So A of green Oh sorry A for the 
red color so now we want to find value for AR so AR is 100 over 5 so you get 20 uh, 20 so that's why uh, you will observe that the red color of ball will move slower compared to the green ball because it's according to the formula F equal to F M A ok, jelas? ok, check sikit tulis sikit pada ruang check tu, jelas ke tak? ok, good ok ok number 3 ok, number 3 100 meter force was ejected on the ball below so they would move to the wall on the right hand which one will hit the wall with greater speed this means the value for A is higher uh, explain your answer ok so same condition with question number 2 ok just using the formula second Newton of law so F equal to MA so kita ambil warna green ha, kita ambil green ha. ha, ini green, ini green, ini green ha, sebab ini green ini red color, kita ambil yang kita now we solve problem for number A so F green 100, same so 100 so M green 1 kg so what A uh, now we want to find for A green so A green akan dapat kat sini 100 over 1 so akan dapat 100 meter per second per second so kat sini akan dapat A 100 ok same when you look at here number B ok B same Kat sini Ya yeah, just guna Kita guna Kat sini kita buat red Red and red So force for red same 100 Mass for red color Ball is 5 So A R So now we want to find value for A R so AR 100 over 5 so you get the answer is 20 meter per second and per second so kat sini A rate is 20 so that's why ball A uh, this is why when you get the ball A it, it has smaller mass that mean the acceleration is higher sebab itu awak ingin logic when mass is lower acceleration is higher when the value of force is constant ok ni sebab dua-dua ni force dia adalah constant ok dua-dua adalah 100 so jadi kita proof kita are using guna formula Ok, boleh? Jelas? Ok, jelas? Tulis komen pada ruang chat tu Jelas ke tak? Ok, good Ok Ok, look at number 4 Question number 4 Ok A student kick a ball we force a uh, force 10 newton if the ball accelerate at 50 meter per second per second calculate the mass of the ball so simple just using the formula that involve force mass and acceleration so f equal to m a 
So force uh, force is 10 mass memang kita nak cari mass of ball. So A So A A adalah 50. Okey. So M equal to 10 over 50. So you get the answer is 0.2. Ingat. In this all the value should be have the unit. So 0.2 kg. So M kat sini adalah 0.2 kg. Okey, boleh? Okey. Jelas? Ha, tulis sikit. Kalau jelas, tulis jelas. Sebelum cikgu pergi ke next question. Nombor 5. Tulis, komen pada ruang chat. Okey. Okey. Look at nombor 5. Question nombor 5. Okey. A box is full with a force of 10 newton to achieve acceleration of 2 meter per second per second. What is the mass of the box? Okay, just using formula F equal to MA kan. So, kat sini force dia 10 newton mass memang kita nak cari nilai mass A 2 meter per second per second so di to so mass 10 over 2 so akan dapat 5 5 apa 5 kg SI SI unit for mass is kg so this is how you get the mass of the the box ok uh, very simple because uh, the value of A is given in the question ok when you look at the number 6 ok number 6 ok number 6 a stationary box is pulled by a force of 10 newton to reach a speed of 10 meter per second within 5 second what is the mass of the box so when they look at here okay what is the formula for mass and is mass force and acceleration f equal to na okay simple so force me 10 M ni memang kita nak cari nilai M M is M lah so here A how how to get the value of A mana A ini kan ini adalah kalau awak tengok speed of ni uh, stationary box ok ini that means ini adalah U so U is 0 so ini adalah V V is 10 uh, so hati hati ya because the value of A we try to find the value of A through the formula V minus U over the 1 T ini this is formula for A uh, because the value of A now is not given very directly you must find the value of A through formula V minus U over by T ok so 10 mass memang kita nak value of mass so kat sini V 10 and U is 0 ok T 5 ok you solve problem lah so kat sini 10 equal to M 2. Ok, jelas? Boleh? Ok, so M The value of M is 5 5 apa? 
Bawa sini lah Ok Lepas sini So M Equal to 5 kg So this is how you get formula How you get The mass of the box Using formula F equal to M A Ok jelas Kalau jelas Tulis jelas pada ruang cat Ok Ok ingat eh Simple saja. sekarang kita baru berguna Berapa formula saja. Ok Hmm Ok, nombor boleh eh? So now we continue to the next question Ok Ok, nombor 7 uh, Scene Ok, now nombor 7 ini Kalau orang ingin look at here Wow, very tough question A 5 kg stationary box is pulled with a force 10 newton to reach a speed of 10 meter per second. What is this placement of the box? Wow. Wow, menarik dekat sini. So here is first okay, awak awak list down formula of force uh, F equal to M M A. Okay, awak list down. So kalau awak dekat here Okay. Dekat sini Force ni 10 Ok 10 ha, Sebab sini ini nilai force Dan return ini nilai force M ni M ni yang awak dapat ni ha, Ni M 5 kg So 5 M So A So A dekat sini kalau awak tengok How you get for A So 5 kg stationary box Is pull is pull with a force 10 newton to reach of speed 10 meter per second what is displacement of the box ok kita cari nilai A dahulu ok dekat sini A ok A dekat sini awak akan dapat A equal to 10 over 5 awak akan dapat 2 2 per meter per second per second ok sekarang awak dapat nilai A So macam mana kita nak dapat nilai uh, displacement? So now we are using four formula of linear equation. Okay, ada pun equation of linear motion. Kali itu kalau awak pergi kat sini formula ni adalah v square itu equal to u square plus dengan 2 a s. Ah ini adalah formula untuk linear motion. Okay, sekarang v square yang mana? B square yang ni ya. ha, Ini B B square sekarang ni adalah 10 Okay U Tapi awak kena square ha, Hati-hati beware Awak kena square Okay Square U ni awak tengok kat sini Dia adalah stationary Desmond kat sini U nya adalah kosong ha, Sebab dia stationary Dia tak bergerak pada Initial velocity ni 0 Okay plus dengan tu memang tu dalam formula A ni yang awak dapat tadi yang tu so awak akan dapat sini sini adalah S ha, ni kita dapat S tapi kita S ni ni dapat 5 ini S displacement so awak solve lah problem kat sini so nanti kita padam yang atas lah ya padam yang atas padam yang atas ni ok kita yang ni kita naik ke atas kat sini so 100 uh, 10 meter awak square akan dapat 100 kat sini awak akan dapat 4 4S uh, ni 4S now we want to find for value for S S is symbol for displacement bukan second ya itu adalah S so S 100 over 4 so akan dapat 25 25 apa? Displacement SI unit for displacement is meter This is how you get for displacement for the question number 
set apa ok boleh jelas kalau jelas tolong tulis pada ruang chat tu sebelum cikgu pergi question number X ok ok bagus ya so this is uh, now they very difficult kita ada guna formula linear equation of motion now ok very not very straightly sebab dia tak banyak mula-mula tadi simple yang mula-mula adjust guna F sama dengan A uh, now dia akan guna formula untuk linear equation of motion so uh, kena ingat kita ada empat formula tu ok awak kena hafal ok ok look at question number X ok number X ini apa soalan dia ok number X uh, 100 Newton force was exerted on the ball below from rest so it would move to the wall on the right hand what is the speed of the ball at it reached the wall so and when you look at here so what is the formula for force m and a so just take f equal to m a ok now we want to find value of a first so force is 100 mass 2 kg for a so a 100 over 2 so akan nampak kat sini for a is 100 over by 2 is 50 meter per second per second ok this e now you get first for the value of a a is 50 ok so what the question now is one is you must find a value of the speed so this speed this mean v ah, ok so this is from rest rest is u is 0 so the, the target our mission is to find value of v so just using the formula of linear motion ok v v square equal to u square plus 2 a s same formula for the question number 7 so v square yes memang kita nak cari nilai v tapi awak kena square lah so u square is 0 lah sebab dia rest so u square plus dengan 2 a awak dapat tadi 50 s ha, yang ini adalah s ha, yang awak dapat daripada ni kat sini adalah s ni yang sini ke sini ini adalah S ok ini adalah S S adalah 10 uh, so 10 so tapi kena ingat eh kat sini ini adalah awak square kat sini so kat sini pula awak darab so B square 0 2 times 50 100 100 100 times 10 so akan dapat Uh, 1000 yes right eh? 1000 250 100 100 times 10 so awak dapat 1000 so we ni awak kena square root kan dia so square of 1000 so awak akan dapat nilai ni adalah 31.62 uh, 31.62 what is the unit for velocity meter per second uh, just meter per second cos is value for velocity ok boleh ok jelas tak jelas ok 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 uh, very difficult ok tapi boleh pelan-pelan awak buat awak akan dapat 
Zaman dia dah banyak Kat situ jawapannya adalah 31.62 ha, Dia sekarang ni guna formula Dia ada guna formula Now we are using two formula F equal to MA And the second formula is linear motion Formula linear motion Equation V square plus 2 US plus 2 AS Okay ha, Sebab Cikgu kenapa kita tak guna formula yang ni cikgu? Ha. Tak ada orang tanya cikgu kan? Mungkin ada orang tanya Cikgu kenapa kita tak pakai formula S equal to UT half A half AT square ha. Kenapa kita tak pakai formula yang ni? Sebab kat sini kita nak cari ha, displacement This is our target Tapi time ni is not given Ha, jadi tak boleh lah ada dua unknown kat situ Sebab itu kita kita tak guna formula yang ni ha, Mengapa kita guna formula V square plus U square tambah dengan 2S Sebab dekat sini Eh sorry Ini pun kalau awak guna ha, Boleh guna tak? Nah, ini pun saya berasa ha, Ini boleh lah kita guna sebab kita nak cari ni Yang ni Yang lain tu ada Ini dua mak ada Ini ada Ini ada ha, Sebab itu kita nak guna formula yang ni Cikgu, kenapa kita tak guna formula yang ni? Satu lagi Ok, formula satu lagi apa? V equal to U plus AT ha, Dekat sini mana ada S? Kita tujuan kita, kita nak cari nilai S Dekat sini tak ada S, mana ada S? Ha, tak ada S, sebab itu kita tak guna formula yang ni Sebab itu kita guna formula U square B square equal to U square plus 2 AS Boleh? Boleh jelas tak ni? Jelas? Ha, tulis sikit jelas ke tak mengapa kita guna formula V square ha, that's why mengapa kita guna formula V square U square plus 2 A S boleh? boleh boleh sikit pada ruang cat tu boleh ke tak boleh? Okey. Ah uh, okey. That's why mengapa kita guna formula v square equal to v square plus 2as. Okey. 